we're here at the TELUS World of Science Edmonton in our new traveling exhibit called Popnology. This exhibit looks at basically how the technology of today could have been created by the science fiction of the past or from science fiction writers. Right now we're standing in front of a very famous traveling time machine known as the famous DeLorean from Back to the Future. In the Back to the Future series, uh, we became accustomed to seeing Doc Brown actually flying around and going, taking Marty McFly back in time, back to 1955 in this particular DeLorean. In fact, there were a few different DeLoreans actually built for the, uh, or modified for the uh, Back to the Future uh, movie, and this is just one of them here on display in Popnology. It's got everything you could possibly want. It's got the flux capacitor, it's basically got the readout telling you that we're going to go back to 1955. It's even got Mr. Fusion, which is actually actually the, the element that drives the vehicle in uh, the last uh, element of the first uh, Back to the Future movie. This particular uh, DeLorean that we have on display here was probably used at the very end of the first movie when Doc Brown actually comes in with his uh, DeLorean and talks to Marty McFly and his girlfriend about going to the future because his, something's wrong with his son. Uh, but this one, in fact, is just one. It uh, is a static display. There's no engine or anything in it. This is a non-moving prop. It looks great. It looks like a DeLorean on the outside, but on the inside it's been sort of gutted. There's no engine in it. And if we really wanted to move the thing, we'd have to push it around. I'd love to have my own time machine like this DeLorean. I, I wish it really did work because I think it'd be really cool to go back in time and see the evolution of the Earth and the solar system, things like that. Of course, I know that's probably not reality yet. Maybe someday that might be a possibility.